New York City has re-energized us tremendously. I know as individuals and then as a couple and then obviously as a family. Here, everything is at your fingertips. Right when you get into the city, there's just so much opportunity. I'm grateful to be in a place where I'm very accepted, to feel that my child has so much diversity and love and acceptance. I just feel I'm at the center of the universe. Like it's such a electrifying, magnetic, inspiring place to be. It kind of makes you feel a little uncomfortable at times, but that's when you grow the most. I love the fact that I'm like being tested in every aspect of my life and I'm being challenged. And it's this sense of hustle, hustle, hustle. Just like we act on the field, like we're so competitive in, in that nature and just our mentality is so strong that I feel like it matches the city perfectly. We never stop working. <laughs> I don't think we've slept since we uh, landed. No, um, we so, don't take a but moment off and we love it. It's actually so important for us to have an impact on this community, this city, uh, our team, and the NWSL, use our platform for you know issues that we believe in, what we want to fight for. And so every single day is an opportunity for us to use our voice and work and fight the good fight. I went to college yeah. with Yael at the University of North Carolina, and Yael was like one of my roommates. I loved her passion for football. She loves the game more than anyone I know, and I wanted to be a part of that, and I knew she was building something special here. I know that Allie and I can only bring, you know, our best foot forward every day, but we have to have GMs who understand what it takes to function collectively as a good team and she's been in it, the sport, forever. She also knows how to like set that high standard and she knows the standard that we need in order to run smoothly, both on and off the field here, um, and kind of putting this club on the map as one of the best in the world. And that's the ultimate goal. No one ever can compete with what Carly has done on the field. I mean, mm -hmm. she is literally a walking legend. She has checked every box in her career. We want to carry on that legacy of just showing up and doing our job and doing it really well. And that's what Carly has done for so, so many years. And that's what I hope that I can deliver to New York is constantly be here and be available. And, you know, I, I hope that it invites more people to come and see what we do and, and be a part of our story. Ali and I are really particular in vetting people we decide to work with. We're on a mission to make this world better, especially now being new moms. That like hits totally differently than it used to. I just hope that she sees one day that her moms helped do this mm -hmm. and her moms were a part of that. And I hope that provides a strength inside her that she could truly be anyone she wants. Do we really view a partnership in terms of supporting what the brand is trying to do in our community and how big of the social impact they're making? These things matter to Ali and I. Nothing is a very transactional feel. We want to stamp who we are as people, a couple, and a partnership, and moms, like in what we do every single day. What is always really important for me is soccer is not who I am, it's just a part of like what I do every day. It is my job, I am an entertainer, but I think my true gift in life is to see people, to like genuinely show up and meet them where they're at and move people to get to where they want to go. Wherever that takes me, whether that's on camera, whether that's a motivational speaking, I think there's a lot of responsibility building a platform and being a role model. And I want to take that as far as I can go. And I want to be a voice for people who are still looking to find their own. As females, we know the work will never end, whether it's pay equity for women mm -hmm. or the LGBTQ right. It's never going to end and we're up for the challenge because we're never going to stop. I love talking about sports. More importantly, I obviously know more about soccer. We don't really talk that much at home because we try to get home from training and like have a life and just leave soccer uh, on the training pitch. That gives me my chance to go and, and talk soccer with people who are also enjoying it and are passionate about that. I want to be more of a force in the men's game. I feel like we do need more female voices in the men's game because we just have a different perspective. Being a soccer mom is so badass, especially when you're actually still playing, mm -hmm. because you can do both. You can give 100% to your craft 
And you can also give 100% to being a mom. It's crazy how you can train the mind. I thought I like hit my threshold, mm -hmm. you know, and then it's crazy when I come home and yeah. I like find more energy within to just be like dancing with Sloan in the kitchen. It's incredible, <laughs> like how you can push the limit. Right. Ticker Tape Parade was such an amazing memory for us. When you're in the World Cup mm -hmm. and you're in this bubble where everything is kind of pushed away, you try not to get too wrapped up in like media and social because it can be distracting. The moment we stepped on American soil, it was the Ticker Tape Parade. Mm -hmm. We were fighting this cause of pay equality and wanting to be seen and heard. And it wasn't until I was on my float and there was thousands and thousands and thousands of people. There was men, women, children, everyone knew the mission we were on for equal pay. To go around the city and to be celebrated, I'll always remember those moments, just looking up and the paper falling and the people screaming and just everyone shining our light brighter. It was such an insane moment for me because I could step back and be like, holy crap, like we did this. And it was so much bigger than winning. Like it was it was really so much bigger than winning. Huge impact.